Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with more A Link to the Past from the Legend of Zelda series. Glad I said it like that. A little backwards. Um, today is primarily going to be an overworld exploration day. We're gonna get some goodies. And then maybe, maybe, we will do a dungeon. Probably not. That would be really ambitious. And as much as I would love to make a 45 minute episode, I probably shouldn't. But anyway, now that we have, we don't need to do that. Now that we have the Titan's Mitt in the bottom, we can lift these very heavy skulls for some reason. And talk to this frog. Talk to Glenn. Uh, just an ordinary guy, excuse me. Uh, we can talk Froganese. Anyway, this guy used to live in Kakariko. And, uh... He wants to go to his partner. So in order to do that... We have to take him back... To his buddy. Now we've sort of stumbled apart upon, not apart, stumbled upon this in the past. This is where his friend will normally be. And we need to go into the light world in order to make this actually happen. Oh my gosh. It's a gnome? Yes, this is the swordsmith brother. Or partner, or whatever you're into. Happy for you. So obviously, these guys will be integral in improving one special item that we have, in this case, the sword. So if you head back inside, we can talk to these guys. We'll have them slam their hammers on our sword. And because we helped out, they'll give us a discount. So, only 10 rupees. Let's have them do it. So you gotta wait a moment. It's gonna take a long time. And... Avoid the cuckoos. Leave the screen. Okay. And wouldn't you know it. They are done. Bum, 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 bum. It's been dipped in ketchup. That's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. So there you go. That is an upgrade to the Master Sword. A little bit stronger now. I think this is like considered the um, the level. Oh, it says three. I guess technically you start with the sword that your uncle gives you, and then the master sword is the level two sword. Apparently, this is even better than the master sword. So we have improved on the sword of legend. Pretty amazing. Okay, and so now that we have helped them out, if you return to the dark world. You can go ahead and get this chat. Wait. The key is locked inside it? Um. Okay, that's a little weird, but. Okay, I guess this is fine. Looks like if we use the Pegasus boots, it'll leave us, so we probably don't want to do that. Seems like a cool prize, though. I wonder what it could be. I mean, we're not really missing any items except for the final slot. So, I'm not entirely sure. However, this is something that will only be achievable in the light world. So let's go ahead and do that. And the chest will follow us, oddly enough. Go ahead and pop out your flute. And head on over 
to warp point numero seven. That's my favorite. I mean, the warp point isn't my favorite. I couldn't really care less, but um, it's the number that counts, literally. Okay, so taking this chest, we're gonna head kind of like we were towards going to the, excuse me, to the desert. And we are uber powerful now with that sword. Anyway, um, I didn't mean to interact with the guy like this, but he used to be a thief and he's willing to help us out. So he's got the tools necessary to lockpick this chest. And we won't tell anyone. And if you keep him, his secret safe and you don't narc on him, you get your final bottle. Very exciting. That is the fourth and final bottle of the game. So in our current loadout, we have a red potion and a whole lot of nothing. So plenty of Kool-Aid to share with one friend, but that's it. Need to stop hitting that button? Okay. So we actually need to warp back to Kakarika Village. We're gonna do that. And go back to where we were. I need to head to the Village of Outcasts one more time. Which if I could remember where I went, that'd be amazing. Oops. We're not quite strong enough to take a soldier out in one shot though. That's a little bit of a bummer, but we need to head to the south. No, which way did I go? Holy smokes, it's been like a minute. There we go. This is where I meant to be. You can always count on me not knowing where I'm going. Get your magic hammer out. Boop. I love that sound. Never gonna get tired of it. Okay. So we're doing great. I should have done this first because it's literally right here, but I forgot. Um, there's a goodie. Oops, sorry. If you knock all these stakes down, love a good steak. And I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of these because I love the sounds. Here you go. There is literally no reason to do that in any order besides that. But if you do do it, if you do do, get yourself a nice piece of heart. And we have three of the four already. So a fourth one gets us another heart container. That now means that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. I did actually count those out loud because I, um, wasn't exactly sure. All right. So what we're actually going to do now is we are going to warp into the light world one more time. I'm doing this a little out of order just because my memory is hazy on what to do. But we're going to hit the light world, grab the flute, We're going to go actually back to the desert itself and use this portal to go into the dark world. Okay. Dark world desert's a little swampy, like me on a hot summer day. The old swamp butt. All right. We're going to head to the northwest part of this area. And there's a little bit of a cave here. Oh. We gotta watch for this crazy puzzle. Run past it. And we have a little bit of a block pushing puzzle, viewers. Can we figure this out? I don't know. We've done it. We have completed the most difficult puzzle in the entire game. A little bit of rupees. And another piece of heart. So far, so good. On the quest for goodies. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the other side of the swamp. Little little jaunt. Hopefully you don't mind us doing this, viewers. 
We're gonna pop into the light world really quick. This is for your health, trust me. Literally. We're getting pieces of heart here. Lift that up and kaboom! Hidden staircase. All right. So, hmm. How do we do this one? I don't know. I know how to get to these places, but I don't always know necessarily how to get to the things that I'm trying to get to. Uh, not that one. I think I've already goofed. I think. No, I've done it. Viewers have done it. Okay, so... I'm thinking that we could... Okay, viewers. Um, we have two choices here, okay? We have the option to do two different dungeons. They're, the game itself is actually... Um, the game, the game, let, uh, bleh, 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 I can't talk. Um, you can do this dungeon in any order. Sorry, the last two dungeons, or last three, I think, of the Dark World. Let's see how many we have left. Well, it would help if we were in the, in the Dark World or not. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Anyways, I was trying to say, the amount of dungeons we have left are three. So, you can do them in any order. Technically, number five is the one that we're supposed to go to, but you don't have to do that. And it actually, as it turns out, doing dungeon six, which is the one that we are nearest to, which is right here, is actually made easier upon completion. Or Dungeon 5 is easier upon completion of Dungeon 6. I cannot talk, viewers. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, saying. But anyway, we have a little bit of a medallion here that looks like this. Let's, uh... Let's use it. I think something's happening! Oh, yeah. Viewers, we completed all that, and we still have time for the dungeon. You are welcome. Let's go ahead and get started with Dungeon 6. Like I said, either order 5 and 6. You can do them. We're going to be doing 6 today. This is the Misery Mire. We will complete the 5th another time. Presumably in the next episode or not. I don't know. It just depends upon um, when I feel like doing this. I don't know if this is our first experience with whiz robes or not but they are annoying in any possible combination now i don't have sword beams anymore because the beamos very cool and fun super awesome but they are very weak to a fully charged spin attack probably gonna have to clear all of these out oops jeez excuse me let's do a full hearted damage damages That sound when you swing your sword now, it sounds like you're hitting like a, a bag of uh, like wet paper towels. Why would you have a bag of wet paper towels? I don't know. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, this dungeon is one, if I remember correctly, that is sort of a bit of a maze. And you don't really have to do... Thing, like, you don't have to do all of it. There we go. As far as I know. Oops. Stop it. I'm just trying to push blocks. Yeah, this is this is one that, like, you can, you can do it this way. Um, the way that I'm doing it, but obviously you can do it however you want to. It's not required. You can do it, you can do it however you like. So it's whatever you're into. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the way that we once were into the big old chamber. 
We're going to try to get to the northwest, the exact opposite corner we're in now. And there was a key door I thought I saw. Here it is. Walked right past it. Very good. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of the enemy. Oops, excuse me. Ow. We're not doing very well. Let's see if I can kill the things with the bombos. Do love me a good bombos. Try not to die here. I do not have a fairy, so would appreciate not dying. There we go. Give me some hearts. Nope. Very cool and fun. Thank you. Might go ahead and use that potion just to be safe. All right. Probably exactly what I'll do. Whoop. Full hearts. Love that. Probably should have grabbed something else. So ending this uh, dungeon could be potentially pretty gross. So we will see. All right, let's go ahead and use that key that we just got on this door. On this door? All right. So we're going to be, oops, going to be careful here. Run around from these tiles. I always have a tough time with the spinning tiles of this game for just whatever reason. They're no different than Link's Awakening, but I want to say that the ones in this game are a little faster. I must always get hit by at least one. Oh boy. I'm just trying to buy my P's and Q's here. Come on, make your dumb design. Hurry up. Hurry up today. Let's go. Okay. So that was that. I thought that that would have actually given us more. I guess not. This might be a... What is going on in this room? I'm not messing around with the whiz robes. Just go ahead and murder everything aggressively with the bombos. Getting that medallion is honestly one of my favorites just because of how destructive it completely is. Huge fan. We got magics to fill ourselves back up. This is very exciting. All right. So now that we're here, we need to push the, oh boy. Got more whiz ropes to deal with. I want to see if whiz ropes are weak to bow and arrows. I don't know, but I have 45 arrows, so you might as well try it. You gonna come back? Oh, there's a lot. Yes, there's one hit kill. Love that. It's time to go on a killing spree. All right. You can die. You can go home and die. Holy smokes, there's five in this room? That's way too many viewers. Dislike it. This room kind of looks like a face. It's like, oh, there's whiz robes in here. You're never going to believe it, but there's five of them. All right, that should be... No! Okay. That's not a big deal. Please don't make me, make me have to kill all five of them again. Don't you do it. Where's the final one? Come on, come out. It's your turn to die. There you are, you goof. All right, so now that that guy's done, we need to light these torches. Oh wait, I didn't do it. Oh, they reset, they reset viewers. This is actually good though, because I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to kill them, but you do need to light the torches or the braziers at the Dairy Queen. I don't understand why Dairy Queen has that name at all. It means something I'm sure, but I don't understand what it means because I'm a big old dummy. All right. So now that we have lit those torches, what does this say? Um, I did that. Did I do in the wrong order? I thought I lit them all. Did I not? Excuse me. Oh, wait, that didn't count? Um, what? Uh, I lit those gosh dang torches, viewers. You saw it. Maybe we gotta do it fast. 
Thought I did it. Okay, well. Honestly, in my brain, I totally thought I did it, but maybe I just totally didn't. That's entirely possible. Today, come on, let's go. Holy smokes. That was the longest puzzle wall move in the world. But yes, that opens this room up. Avoid the whiz robes and just take a take a dive down here. If you do that, kaboom! Pretty sweet. We can walk back in here and take this portal. This dungeon is very weird. Um, yeah. We can avoid. Oops. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, stop it! We're trying to get back to the the main area here. We want to get to the lower floor. And we're heading back to the southeast, where it's swampy during this time of the year. Oh, there's so many things going on. Holy smokes, get out of my way. Get away from me! Those look like cheese balls. Like the planter's cheese balls. Alright. Now that we have made it, we're gonna grab our hook shot. We're gonna cross the gap here. And we're gonna hurry. And the dungeon item is here. Bum, 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 bum. It's one of the most unfulfilling and people don't care about this item at all because it's kind of stupid. It's the Cane of Samaria, my friends. This is the final item in the game. At least the final item that fills in our collection of items. Super cool and fun. Um, yeah. So there you go. So I think I actually wanted to have... We need to go and lower the blocks. The blue blocks blues. Go in here real quick and do that. Forgot about it. We gotta go to the northeast part of the room. That's where the block thing was. What a crazy puzzle. We will find it in just a second. This is where we just were. I'm doing things out of order a little bit just because my brain's fuzzy. But we should be good to find it soon in a moment. Oop, small key. Open this door, get some magix. Viewers, we are making such good progress. Excuse me, Wizard, I got no time for you or you. Whatever your name is. Nobody knows what your name is. We got the big key though, so we can use this. This is crazy how effective we are being. Let's get our torch out. That does nothing, I forgot. Alright, so there's a lot of, um... A lot of fireballs in this room, unfortunately. Pretty unavoidable, too. This gives us a chance to use our brand new item. The Cane of Samaria. What it does is it creates... Uh, blocks of Cheetos that <laughs> very poorly doing this. Stop it. Quit it. I'm getting bodied right now by a bunch of Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Stop it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up dying because of this. Really don't want that to happen. I'm gonna try to be careful here. Oh no. That didn't count. That counted, all right. Oh, viewers, this is scary. I'm gonna use the Bombos. I would love any of these guys to give me a heart. Bomb, not useful. I don't think that these things turn into anything with when hit by a boomerang. 
I'm like very gingerly trying to approach this. Oh, and I ran into it. Okay, well, you know what? It was a while since we, you know, since we died at the hands of a dungeon, and we weren't really that far into where we were going anyway, so that's okay. Do any of these things turn into hearts? I don't need money. I don't need your money! That's what I want. I don't want to have to keep redoing this. This episode's getting a little out of hand, and I'm trying to make this reasonable. I don't know if anything that I've already killed will offer me up any goodies. But I am willing to aggressively use Bombos. Oh, I didn't... I missed one. Oops. Alright, well, we're gonna do it again here. Whoa! Another Bombos is good for ya. I only got one. Lame. This is definitely one of the most fun, amazing parts. Did I skip something? Why am I... Oh, I forgot to kill this one. Oops, come here. Gotta wipe him out. There we go. Avoid the Beamos again, of course. Alright, and we're gonna go into... Ooh, that was close. Go back to the northeast part of the room. And essentially redo all the things we had just done. Do these things turn into anything if you hit them? I don't know. I don't know anything does. Nope. This is what I get for not lowering those blue bricks when I could have. Oops. My bad. You live and you learn, viewers. There's 20 rupees in that. Seems a little excessive. We're gonna have a little bit... Stop it. We're gonna have a little bit more self-preservation this time around, hopefully. Not guaranteed, by the way. But we're going to try. I always try for you viewers. Ooh, that's a heart I like that. Nope. Stay away from me. Just gotta remember all- Oh no! Ooh, that- Wait, what? Oh, that was gonna turn me into the rabbit, but it didn't because I... Hit the spikes or something? I don't know. Nothing makes sense anymore. Life is optional. Alright, so let's not have as horrible of an experience as we did last time because I was trying to be a little dumb, and that was wasteful. So make sure you have enough magics for this. I don't know if I redid this. There we go. Come on. How does that not count? There we go. I heard it. Alright, we're still not really safe. I'm not gonna try to waste any time by messing with that. All right, so it's only we've got a blade trap in here. We will avoid that. Oops. No, we will not. If by avoid, I meant run right into. That's actually what I was trying to say. All right. More of these dumb things. There's a switch in here. Oop, I see it. No, stop. I hate these stupid um, little beam boys. Oh, that's a... Okay, I can't go that way. Can I not do this? Hold on. Stop trying to go for me! Oh, maybe I could just shoot it with a long-distance thing. I wonder. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow, that was dumb. Okay, so we have definitely made some motions. Let's use the bombos here real quick. Actually, I don't think that- wait a second, that's not the way I wanted the bricks to be. I'm being stupid. We'll try that again. If there is anything else in this room, I would not have been able to figure it out. But yeah, we got a bombable wall here, folks. Let's blow it up. Boom, done. Now we can turn the switch blue. Boom! There you go. Yeah, 
Now we can go this way. Wee! Oh boy. We got silly putty, folks. Watch out. One of the craziest enemies in the game. I actually am trying to be careful because I am not trying to make this harder on myself. Whoa. There's a lot of silly putties in here. I don't know if these are going to continue to give me items or not, or if this is just a waste. Are these orange? Ooh. Oh, okay. I would love it to give me more hearts. That's what I'm actually hoping that it'll pop out with. Let's get some magics. Yeah, this is kind of nice. Taking my time here and refilling my stockpile before the boss, which is coming up soon. Is that it? No. There's a ton of them in here. Holy smokes. Whoa, that should have probably hit me. Glad it didn't. Get out of my house. There we go. Nice. Good little refill. If you don't mind me doing this. Viewers. I feel like some of these fireballs should be hitting me, and I don't know exactly why they're not. I'm not complaining. You wouldn't hear me do that. Never complain on a... The d mic plays Let's Play. That is impossible. I don't want money. I don't want your handouts game. I mean, I do. I want specific handouts that I get to choose. That I am entitled to. Because I'm an American. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot of these. Oop, I don't think I want to change that. Actually, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, I don't need arrows. Avoid the blade trap. Oh no! I've undone all my progress! Not all my progress, but too much of it. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, I would be willing to... Oops. I'd be willing to oops. I just want to... I just want, like, two more hearts. Oh no, I'm just wasting it now. There we go. I don't remember there being these doodads floating around. Maybe I should just let them come to me. This is very exciting gameplay le le for this Let's Play viewers, I apologize. But I need to heal up a little bit for the boss fight. It is... Oh my gosh. One step forward, two steps back, viewers. Are these endless? Oh my gosh, this is such a waste. I at least wanted to get the top row filled, but apparently that's not going to happen with my current uh, ineptitude of dodging. All right, I just, oh, that, you can go through that, okay. Oops. Oh, I, get hit, I can't get hit by the goobers. This is exciting. All right, come on. I had, I almost had the top row completely filled and I've, I've ruined it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming these are endless. I guess I don't really need to do this. I feel much more careful, not careful. Um, I'd feel much more better about everything if I had more hearts, but I don't, so I'm going to probably have to redo this fight. Oh boy. Oh no, it's these. <laughs> Here we go, let's do it. Okay. So this is going to suck. Um, so this is, I think, what's it's, this one's name? V Vitreus? V Vitreus? Or something like that? I don't know. Whoa! That's super cool. Did not know that was going to happen. Uh, yeah, stay out of the way of the middle, I guess. You gotta hit these eyeballs a lot. Um, I don't think you get anything for, for, you know, cheesing this and killing these things. Yeah, these, I'm like, I'm really whacking. I'm whacking these, these eyes off. And I'm dead. Okay, well, that was fun. Alright, I will meet you back at the boss, viewers. Okay, viewers, we're back. And I have come with reinforcements. You'll see in a moment. Anyway, here's Vitreus. I'm going to try to see what happens when you use the bow. Very hard to do. I was trying to come up with a creative, different way to put a spin on this, but it's not really the easiest. Don't worry, though, viewers. I'm putting my four bottles to good use this time around. Good to just really, really mash. Don't worry, viewers. What happens when you lose a life? And you've got four bottles. You got four fairies, that's right, let's do it! Not, you know, the most inspiring, but... Oh, I think the iframe saved me there, actually. Here we go. 
Yeah, this is super cool and fun, isn't it? Yeah, this fight kind of... kind of sucks. Alright, that's... <laughs> that's one fairy down. Will I be able to survive? Let's find out. You just gotta keep slashing away. Stay out of the middle of the room. You will not be able to survive that lightning attack, obviously. Kind of dance around the eyeballs. I feel like I'm kind of cheesing this. But also this fight. Each of those eyeballs does like three damage, which is kind of rude. All right, three fairies. Here we go. Let's uh, be a little more careful now. Another eyeball down. All right. Try to do primarily spin attacks to so keep it at bay. By the bay, Martha's Bay. Link to the past reference. Ooh, got him. Or Link's awake. Oof. Link's awakening reference. My goodness. I'm not sure how many spin attacks it takes. Roughly that many. We had a fairy left in tow. Didn't even need that. Very gooey. Not the most creative and fun boss fight. We've kind of already done one like that with the... with the cloud guy and the hook shot. I forget whatever that's called. You get the idea. But anyway, another Maiden Freed. Couldn't break the seal. I break the seal every single time. And when you do, you're not going to stop peeing. There you go. Breaking the seal, cracking the seal. So many seals. Oof, oof. You did not plan on us getting this far. That's right. We are changing the narrative. And she's inside of Turtle Rock, apparently. Turtle Rock's actually in Link's Awakening as well. Get that full heal. We are three hearts away from having full hearts. All right, guys. Finish it up. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been... Super Nintendo Sundays, a link to the past, and I'll see you next time. Bye!